Hello everybody. Hope you're having a great day. Take a look at this perfect little turkey pot pie. I made this in the Dash Mini Pie Maker and it is so delicious and so wonderful. I wanted to share with you how to do it yourself. Get some heat going under a nice heavy pot and into that we're going to put a can of cream of chicken soup. Just like that. And then we're going to add some turkey. Or it could be chicken, but this is turkey. One and a half cups of diced, cooked turkey. Do you like pot pie? I'm going to show you how to make this perfect. Perfect for you. And now we want to add six ounces of thawed mixed vegetables. They were frozen, but they've been thawed out. Put them in the pot. Give them a, a stir. We're trying to get everything warmed up. Then we want to add some pepper and some garlic powder to taste. You can taste it to see if you need any more salt. It was just about right the way it, it was. And then you want to add enough milk to make it nice and creamy. About three quarters to one can, that soup can, full of milk. It gets nice and creamy and bubbly and hot. And the filling is now ready. So now we're going to work on the pie crust. And I'm using this Ultimate Mini Pie Crust. I have a video uh, showing you how to do that. I'll put the link to it down below in the description box. But this is the crust you want to use. And you also want to use a tortilla press. It makes things so much easier. It's so simple. You'll be glad to do it this way. Put in a small amount of dough, give it a quick press, and there you have it. And you can make sure it's big enough to cut out the right size for the pie dough. And that's just the right size. So we'll go ahead and pull that off the uh, tortilla press and gently peel back the plastic. And that's plastic just from one one gallon freezer bag that I've cut into pieces. And so for the other part of the dough or the crust, I just repeat the process. So we have a top and a bottom for the little pie, uh, for the pot pie. And we do the very same thing and just let that come off of the plastic. Very simple. Don't rush it. Just let it release just like that. Perfect. All right. Now we're going to get the cutter and cut out the particular pieces of pie dough or pie crust. One side, this first side, is a little smaller because it goes on top. And this extra dough won't be wasted. I'll put it back in the bag. And then the other side is larger. And it is the bottom part of the pie crust. And it goes underneath and holds all the filling. And so there's not quite as much uh, extra pie dough left. And then all you do is push it down inside the hot pie maker. And the light's gone off, so it's ready to go. And you want to get a one-third cup measuring cup and fill it level. And don't be tempted to try and put extra in. You don't want any more but exactly one-third cup of the filling. Otherwise, it's too much and it will run out and make a mess. And so once you have that measured out, you want to get all of it into the little pie maker, into the crust. Just like that. Get it all in there just right, and then put the top dough on, the top crust, center it, and simply close the lid, give it a quick press, and set your timer for exactly 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, it's done. Perfect. A perfect little pot pie, a turkey pot pie. Take a look at that. That ultimate crust is absolutely amazing flaky and tender and it's just so flavorful you're really going to enjoy that but i mentioned that this is a perfect pot pie and the one thing about this little pie maker is it doesn't allow you to put much of the filling in because it's so small and the way you overcome that one disadvantage and make it perfect is by adding more filling after you break the pie uh, the pot pie up you can fine tune it to exactly the amount you like. It becomes the perfect pot pie for you. The perfect balance of crust to filling because you can make it the way you like it. And this is the way I like mine. 
For me, this is perfect. Mmm, so delicious. Well, that's how you do it. Simple, huh? Hey, thanks for watching. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye now.